How to fast. 1. Determine what type of fast to do. People fast for many different reasons, to achieve spiritual clarity, to prepare for surgery, to lose weight and any number of other reasons. The way you prepare for and carry out the fast will be largely dictated by your reasons for doing it, so do some research on the type of fast you want to do. Medical fasts are often prescribed before a patient is scheduled to undergo surgery or another procedure for which anesthesia will be administered. Medical fasts usually last 12 to 24 hours before the scheduled procedure, and can involve abstaining from food and drink or just food. Detoxifying fasts are meant to cleanse the body of accumulated toxins. They are commonly done after the holiday season, a time of heavy alcohol drinking and consumption of heavy and sugary foods. Detoxifying fasts usually allow juice and other liquids, but not food. Intermittent fasting is a practice designed to help the body battle health issues or burn fat. Some believe that abstaining from food and drink for periods of 12 to 36 hours helps people lose weight over time. Spiritual or religious fasts are designed to give the mind time to reflect on spiritual ideas while the body abstains from food. The specificities of religious fasts are often dictated in religious texts, and the fasts are carried out to honor ancient traditions. For example, Muslims fast to celebrate Ramadan, a month during which food and drink aren't consumed from dawn until sundown. Observant Jews also fast on certain days of the year, most notably on the holiday of Yom Kippur, which is an absolute fast lasting 25 hours. 2. Get physically prepared to fast. Everyone's body responds differently to fasting, and if you've never done it before it can be difficult to predict how it will make you feel. Take a few weeks to get physically prepared before launching into a major fast. You'll have a better chance at succeeding with a fast if you know what to expect. Talk to a doctor if you are concerned about how fasting might affect your health. Undergoing a fast, especially an absolute fast, can take a dangerous toll on your body if you have a pre-existing condition. Get a physical to make sure your body is strong enough to handle limited consumption of food and water. If this is your first fast, you might want to gradually phase out a few foods first to get used to the feeling of deprivation. For example, wean yourself off of foods containing sugar and white flour a week or two before you start a detoxifying fast, so that your body won't be suffering from major cravings on top of hunger pangs. Plan to start a fast in your best physical shape. Your body will deal with deprivation better if you start off well hydrated so drink plenty of water. Eat healthy, nutrient-rich meals in the weeks leading up to your fast. As the first fasting day approaches, make sure your body is free of alcohol and drugs. 3. Ready your kitchen for fasting. If you've got temptations lying around the house, fasting will be a much harder experience. Get your kitchen ready in the following ways. Toss out or stow away all prohibited foods and drinks. Don't have candy or a bottle of wine sitting out on the counter, either throw it away or put it in a place where you won't be reminded of its presence. Clean out your refrigerator. Empty it of anything that might tempt you during the fast, especially pre-prepared food that's easy to eat. If you're doing a juice or liquid fast, stock the refrigerator with the ingredients you need to make your drinks. If you're doing an absolute fast, plan to avoid the kitchen altogether. Make sure everything is cleaned up and put away so you'll have no reason to enter the kitchen or handle food. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.